Pearls of Joy. And I'm just going to use the glue stick again to adhere the paper to both sides of the new folder. And then once I've pressed it down and I've added it, all I have to do is just trim off the excess. And then both sides will have the decorative or the watercolor paper um, on them. Now once you have your decorative paper on both sides of your folder, we're going to take some strips of the watercolor paper and we're going to add them over the edge of the top. Now the thing about it is I should have done this uh, before I glued down the side papers. So it's completely up to you how you do this. If you want to go ahead and fold a piece over and glue it down where you're going to see that little bit of an edge or you can Fold down the paper a little bit and go ahead and put the tab or the little strip on there and then you can re-glue the main part down to the sides. Now, once you've added those um, embellished pieces on the top, we're going to do the sides now where the gusset is and also on the bottom where the gusset is located. And I'm just going to use some painted deli paper I have in my stash. You can use colored deli paper. You can use the black and white. You can also use other papers, but I really like the deli paper because it's really thin and it's light and it does coordinate with the paper that I've already used. And because it's so thin, it's kind of easy to stick it right there inside the gusset. And I just add some glue stick into that area. And once I've got the glue on there, all I have to do
sides. I really like the way the stitching looks as well. We are ready to start creating the little vellum pouches that will go inside. And that's where we'll put all the goodies or the, the bits of paper and stuff that you're going to gift to someone. Now you can use vellum or I used a heavy weight tracing paper and it's nine by 12. I got this at Hobby Lobby, but I'm sure you can find it in various places. And all I did was fold it in half. And so by folding it in half, I'm creating a nine by six, basically a nine by six size little pouch that I will put um, the goodies inside. So once you fold them in half, the next thing that we're gonna do is we want to create these little paper strips that we're gonna go across the top. And I'm gonna use the same watercolor paper that I used when I covered my pouch. And this will be um, little strips that will be folded in half. And then I Once you have the tabs um, across the top of both of your vellum or your tracing paper pouches, just trim off any excess in case they were a little bit longer on each end. And now what I'm gonna do is take them to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew across the tops. Um, probably a couple stitches um, just back and forth to add a little extra interest to them. And so once they're sewn, um, they'll look like this. Now I did not sew them closed. I just sewed them at the top. Now what I'm gonna do is take some Beehive Mulberry Paper. I love this. I got this at Dick Blick and I think it's perfect to close up the sides using this mulberry paper. First of all, it's really pretty and secondly, it's transparent, which is really nice. So when you add it, and you fold it over the edge, it just still, you can still see through the transparency of the vellum or the tracing paper, which is pretty cool. And so you'll wanna do a piece on each end, and I'm just gonna use a glue stick to do that. Or you're using mulberry paper or any other papers what I want to do now is add a small little tab to the tops of both of my little um, pouches you can use watercolor paper that you've painted you can use really anything from your stash I'm just gonna cut a piece 
and then trim it and then I'll use my glue stick to just adhere it to the very top of the um, one of the sides of the opening. Now make sure you don't glue it across the top of both sides. You just want to have it on one little part of it. And then this will be neat because it will stick out over the top of your little um, vellum pouches inside the folder. Once you've completed and you've added your tabs, now we're going to add our little pouches into our main folder. And because you have that little gusset in there, they actually fit pretty well right inside. And you can tuck them down in there. And as I mentioned, I left mine a little bit taller, so they stick out a little bit more over the top. And how cool is that? You can see a little bit of that watercolor paper peeking over. And then of course you have the tabs. And if you did more pouches, you could do probably two or three, but there's definitely space inside. You could tuck some more goodies down into the middle um, of the folder as well. So I think that's pretty cool. Now we're gonna fill these transparent pouches with some beautiful papers, paper bits, handmade papers, all the fun things that you're gonna wanna gift. And it's really gonna be cool because you're gonna see them all peeking out from the transparent pouch. I love this part and these are gonna be really cool. And you could even make these as individual pouches without the folder and just give them away um, to friends. And so they'll tuck right in and everything is now kind of looking good and juicy and just really, really pretty. And what a great gift. What a great gift idea for um, friends or for a trade. I just, I just love how this turned out. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can use maybe a clip um, or a clothespin, something decorative. And then maybe you could put a little um, tag or a little card and attach that underneath that would be a little extra that you could do to make it more personalized and a gift. So I hope that you enjoyed this. It was just a quick and easy um, idea for how you can create something really pretty that you can trade or give away as a gift. Now, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I'll be happy to help. Have fun making your own. And again, I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <music>